know where I'm going, but I'm chasing some chickens. Beep, beep. See Chocolate Hill. I need some crazy sh Can't even keep this... We can't come this far and not reach the chocolate mountain. But I want the hill. I see the hill. That is where I want to be. I do have legs and they do work. <laughs> I'm bleeding. Yeah, I'm getting the whole chocolate mountain experience here, folks. Just got to get to there. Welcome to Bow Hall. I came here on a ferry this morning. I've been waiting years for this trip and I finally have the opportunity to be here. There's a few things I want to do. I want to see the chocolate hills and I want to see Alona Beach. If I have time, I'll try and see the Taj ears, but there's no guarantees. I think it's gonna rain. It probably is gonna rain. I can feel drips on my hands. But you know what? It's beautiful here. I really like it. I really do. We're trying to find a hotel. I think I'm supposed to make a right. I don't know. We're making a right. I want to be down by alone the beach. That's where I want to be. That's where things are happening. I want to be down by alone the beach. I need a nice place. I don't want to be on the beach. I want to be able to walk to the beach. I didn't really look too hard, but I ended up finding a nice little hotel called the Rennet. It was 1,600 pesos a night. It was nice and clean, had a nice garden, hot and cold running water, internet, also had a little balcony. I wanted to stay at the hotel for both nights, but they had been fully booked for the night after, so I only got to stay there for one night. But I really wish I could have stayed for two nights there because the second hotel I got was absolutely garbage. It was about, a, well, I'd say about a five minute walk to Alona Beach. We found a nice shortcut going through some dirt paths and then it came out to like a nice little private beach and then you could also go to the other big beach through like a small cavernous pass. I was like, that means it's like rocks, I don't know. Leaving the Rennet Hotel. The Rennet Hotel. Beautiful. Yeah, I think helmets are optional in Bohol and Panglao. Panglao! I think, I think that's how it's supposed to be said. Okay, so it is 5.48 in the morning. We are gonna try the chocolate mountain again. We couldn't do it yesterday. We got rained out. We got absolutely soaking. I'm going the bridge way here. I don't even think I'm supposed to go this way. Keep right. Oh my goodness. I just had a coffee. I should be able to get directions. I should be good. Oh no, we, we're good. We're good. Yeah, don't get in the way of these things. These things will these things will take you off the road. He's got a hubcap on there. <laughs> okay. Hopefully the rain stops. There's a 20% chance of participation. Participation. What do you What's the word? I'll get it. Still early. My brain isn't fully switched on at this time in the morning. This is almost as far as I came yesterday. It's really nice. So we were driving and it started to bucket down. So we pulled over under a tree and then we decided we needed to find better refuge. So we drove a bit further down the road in the pissing down rain and found a gas station and we sat there for 45 minutes and then we decided to abandon our plan. We're on a little bit of a time crunch because we got to check out of our hotel at 12. But we have to return the bike at 10.44. So we've only got a couple hours. I heard it was two hours driving time. So we'll drive for two hours, see what we see. Drive for two hours back and that should be, that should be it. But we got some sunny, clear skies in the direction that we're going to. So we should be good. Okay, so there's two things I'm trying to see today. The goal is to see the man-made forest. I've seen a picture of it and I think I'd like to see it. That looks like an old railway bridge. And that looks like something Spanish. No, oh, pretty cool. 
So I want to see the man-made forest and I want to see the chocolate mountains. That is today's mission. Oh, they got a 7-Eleven here. I like 7-Eleven. So that's where we just came from. And that's where we're going. Into the jungle, baby. Yeah, I had to quickly pull over and look at the map. I know, I'm cheating. But the thing is, this road didn't look so bendy on the map when I looked. So I had to double check I'm going the right way. Because we're on a time crunch, folks. We only have so much time to see the chocolate hills. So I had to make sure because I'm not coming back here anytime soon. So we only got one shot, one shot of the chocolate mountain. Well, I think I've seen my first chocolate hill in the distance right there. I don't know. That might be a chocolate mountain. We'll find out in a minute when I get closer. Oh, this is the man-made forest. I might drive through this a couple of times. It's very dark. It looks like it's off Lord of the Rings. That's what it looks like. I feel like I'm on the way to Mordor. Lord of the Rings. Yeah, this is cool. This is pretty cool. The man-made forest. Mission one completed. Whoa, look at that. Look at that. That is cool looking. That is so cool. Someone must have broke down. But this is cool. Look at this. And the roads are so nice. I'm so surprised how good the roads are in the middle of nowhere in the province in Bohol. And back home, there's a pothole every two feet. I don't know how long this even goes for. Honestly. I might have to turn my headlight on. I can't see where I'm going. <laughs> it looks like British Columbia. This is what this looks like. Not the jungle. Looks like... Looks like, uh... The redwood forest or something. These trees are massive. These trees are huge. Look at that. Holy fuck. I almost died in the... <laughs> died in the man-made forest. That was almost the end of my life, folks. I don't see it yet. I didn't really do much research. I seen one picture and I was like, I want to go to that thing. And now I'm here. I don't know how long it goes for. Because <laughs> it's kind of cold. <laughs> There's no sun hitting the road. It's freezing. But man, this is cool. I'm so happy I have the opportunity to drive through this thing. On my Click 125. In Bohol, Philippines. It's a beautiful day. It's not raining. And the man-made forest. Look at that. It's... I'd say it's all natural, but I think it's called man-made forest for a reason. It's because I man-made it. <laughs> or maybe it's not. I don't, I don't know. I didn't actually prepare to talk about it. I don't know anything about it. You're seeing it for the first time as I'm seeing it. All these little arrows telling you where to go. <laughs> like I need directions. <laughs> oh, but that was... I think this is the end. But that was really cool. Look at that. That was really neat. And we're gonna drive by it again on the way back, but there might be more, I don't know. But you kinda get the gist of it. That's neat too. So much cool looking stuff. This looks like we're pretty high up now. This looks like a huge drop off. I don't know if we're gonna get a good view though. Yeah, there we go. I think that's it for the man-made forest. Okay. Next mission, Chocolate Mountain. He wants to go see the Chocolate Mountain. He wants to, <laughs> well, I might want to race. Yeah, I can see him in the distance. I can see the hills. I can see the hills. This might be the bumpiest road that I've ever been on in the Philippines. Tell him it's either the really good roads or the really bad. But honestly, even having a road this good, this far out here, is actually pretty good. 
Yeah. As I said, we're on a bit of a time crunch, so I might be going a little bit faster than I'm usually going. I'd say all these tour buses are going to the Chocolate Hills, but they look like locals. Looks like locals are on these buses. Southern Star. Southern Star. Over here. Not even able to read. No, no, one, no wonder I can't get a job. <laughs> this is my job and they don't even pay me. Can't even read a bus. Oh, goodness. Oh, my goodness. And he's driving with a signal light on. Come on. Typical. Does, do you think he knows? I don't think there's a right turn coming up. <laughs> no, there isn't. <laughs> Just driving with the old signal light on. I can't complain. I do it all the time. I don't know. It's the, it's the heat that fries your brain over here. The heat fries your brain. And you just drive with all your lights flashing. I seen a tricycle coming at me yesterday. It looked like a bloody Christmas tree. There were so many lights on. Every color of the rainbow. I was going to say, where are these chocolate hills? But I see one there. But I want to see more. And I want to see them more clustered together. Because that will be better for my viewing experience. Welcome. To the Chocolate Hills. That's what the sign said. I missed it. I didn't have my camera turned on. But I think I can see some in the distance again. I think they're like sporadic. And then they all come together. Oh, there's one. Oh, here we go. Look. The Chocolate Hills. Welcome to the Chocolate Mountains. Look at that. That is exactly how I pictured it. <laughs> I am so grateful that I have the opportunity to be here on this day looking at those hills oh there's so many yeah we gotta find a nice spot here to, to stop and to, to take it all in it's overwhelming we gotta take it all in take in the chocolate hills I might have found on the map a cool little spot I might have found a cool spot to see the hills without going to the touristy places because I really don't like touristy places. So this road looks like I'm gonna see the hills without the tourists, which might be a good thing. It's like a, like a nice little village. It's like a nice little village. I like this. Okay, we're taking this puppy off road. I see a hill though. We might get, we might get a hill without tourists. I don't know where I'm going, but there's nobody here. The bike's covered in This looks like someone's house. Oh yeah, oh look at those hills. Oh my god, this was a mistake. This was a mistake. Where I'm going, but I'm chasing some chickens. Beep beep. Come on. I'm surprised I'm not falling off this thing yet. I think I'm on a chocolate hill right now, honestly. Oh my god. You'll never see me again. This will be the last vlog. You will never f see me again. <laughs> but I want the hill. I see the hill. That is where I want to be. I hate snakes. <laughs> Holy sh**. <laughs> okay, I think this is... Oh, frig. We're so close, though. We can't come this far and not reach the chocolate mountain. Yeah, we can't, oh, now we're in the fucking, oh, jeez. What am I doing? I need some crazy I can't even keep this, f holy Now there's a, now there's a, a moose. Is he chocolate hill? Slowly. Thought he said slowly. <laughs> we're still good. Okay, so I have abandoned the bike. The bike's not coming any further, but we found we found two hills. So we're gonna try and climb those and see the view. Okay. I don't know what the bike could have came through here. Okay, I've decided we're climbing these two. That's what we're doing. Because oh my God. yep. I do have legs folks and they do work. So I made it this far, 
Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting the whole chocolate mountain experience here, folks. Just gotta get to there. All right, we're heading back down the chocolate mountain. Too much fun for one day. Too much fun for one day. I should have just took the fucking tour. <laughs> but you don't get to tell these stories when you take the tour. You don't get to say you climbed a chocolate mountain with your own hands. You don't get to say that. Oh my goodness. I'm already bleeding. Look at me. I'm bleeding. Injuries. There's a line of duty. I just don't want to lose the motorcycle key. That is the chocolate mountains. We came, we saw, we got injured. I smashed up my knee a bit, climbing the hill. Injured my arm. Luckily I didn't get bit by a snake or anything, so that's good. So we're gonna head back to Takbalaran. But first we're gonna go back through the man-made forest, take, take a couple of pictures. And go back to Takbalaran, return the bike. We gotta put some gas in it, return it. So that's the Chocolate Mountains, and uh, yeah, we did it. Oh geez, I should probably take my phone out of here. Okay, the pictures are done. We are heading back to Tank Balaran. Tank Balaran to return the bike. So I just put some gas in the bike. Now I am going to go find this sketchy guy to return the motorcycle. I gotta meet him on a street corner. No entry, there's so many one ways. We gotta meet him on a street corner and then I gotta make a phone call for him to come meet me. <laughs> so we'll see how this goes. That's where we just got gas. No. I think I'm going the right way. Got to be. There's nowhere else to go. Every other way is a no entry. There's so many no entries in this city. I'm surprised you can get anywhere. Okay. We are here. We are here. This is the corner. This is the corner, and those are those shitty bikes they tried to give me the first time. And maybe this guy is part of it. Nope. Okay, let's just park here for a minute, and we will see. I went over to the ticket office and got an 800 peso ticket back from Tagbalar and to Cebu at 1pm. So we still had some time to kill. I ruined my shoes on the chocolate mountain, so I went over to the market and got myself a pair of genuine crocs for 130 pesos. They got little pictures of basketballs and little brown kids on them. No, I'm really happy. I needed to kill a bit more time, so I went over to the mall and looked at a Raider 150. That is a nice bike. So the checkout time at my crappy hotel was 12 o'clock, and my ferry was at 1 o'clock, so I checked out, I took a tricycle for 20 pesos from the hotel to the ferry port, and I was on my way back to Cebu.